a flayed horse, the Emperor Hirohito, and a classic Capcom game. They're not just things I've airbrushed onto my van. They're also all connected to one of the major movers in Japan's Shinto faith. So, Isho Nikite on a mythical journey into the heart of the sun. That is, the sun goddess Amaterasu. On this week's Randamura Chishiki. I'm sure that's all very wrong. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're geeks who drink and we read stuff all the damn time. We read stuff all the damn time. Random knowledge. Once upon a time, the story goes, the creator god Izanagi stopped at a river to wash off some underworld stank. When he rinsed his face, the moon god Tsukuyomi came out of his right eye, the storm god Susano fell out of his nose, and from his left eye popped a fully formed sun god Amaterasu. That deadbeat Izanagi promptly put her in charge of the whole spirit world and peaced out to heaven without leaving so much as an instructional sticky note. Learning on the job left no time to babysit the bratty Susano who one day dumped a skinned horse carcass on her head. Never be it said that Japanese gods half-assed their sibling rivalries. So, understandably, the sun goddess ran away to a cave, plunging heaven and earth into total darkness. When the other gods couldn't coax her out, not even with 800 roosters, they tried a strip tease near the cave mouth. When Amaterasu sneaked a peek, the gods pulled her out and promised to ban Susano from heaven, proving once again that pouting gets shit done. All these stories were well established by the year 712, which is when a complete history of Japan was commissioned by the Empress Genmei, still one of just eight women ever to sit on the chrysanthemum throne. Genmei's pet historian concluded that the dynasty was directly descended from Amaterasu, and therefore the empress was a god herself. What are the odds? Cut to 1946, and the occupying Americans pretty much weren't having it. They nudged Emperor Hirohito into putting out a hedgy declaration renouncing his own godhood. But he never actually said he wasn't Amaterasu's grandkid. And sure enough, when the current Emperor Akihito was crowned in 1989, he was presented with some bling allegedly passed down by Amaterasu herself. Assuming Nick Cage doesn't steal it in some whack conspiracy heist, those same artifacts will go to Crown Prince Naruhito when his dad abdicates next week. By the way, if you're not Japanese but the name Amaterasu still sounds familiar to you, that's probably because you've played that uh, 2006 cult PlayStation 2 hit, Okami, which has been ported since then to every system known to man, most recently Nintendo Switch. The game reimagines the goddess as a white wolf who fights demons with calligraphy because the brush is mightier than the sword? Anyway, the wolf part is not just a mad lib gone awry. Turns out, depending on how many kanji you use, Okami can mean either wolf or great god. Hooray for Japanese puns! So there it is. The enthralling tale of Amaterasu and the ongoing dynasty that may or may not have been produced by her loins. If a little edutainment isn't enough for you ingrates, you've also got yourself a free point for the Geeks Who Drink pub quiz on this date right here. Go to geekswhodrink.com to find out where your nearest pub quiz is, and in the meantime, like and subscribe this channel so you can find us next week when we do another episode of Random Knowledge. Come by.